birds children today we are going to learn about birds in this chapter birds are of various colors and sizes look at the pictures of birds and name them the names are crow hen parrot and eagle birds do not have teeth they have beaks let us learn about the beaks of birds a bird uses its beak to catch and eat food different birds have different kinds of beaks depending upon the food they eat birds such as sparrow and pigeon eat nut and seeds these birds have strong short and hard beaks that help them to crack open their food flesh eating birds such as eagle vulture and hawk feed on small birds and animals they have strong sharp and hooked beaks for tearing flesh birds such as woodpecker have strong pointed beaks such beak help them to poke holes into hard tree trunks and pull out insects from holes Hoopoe uses its beak to look for food inside existing tree holes. Water birds such as duck and goose have broad and flat beaks. These birds take in muddy water with insects, worms and plants using their beaks. Birds such as sunbird have long and pointed beaks which help to suck nectar. Feet and claws. Birds have two feet usually with four toes on each. They use their feet to walk and hop around as well as to catch and hold food. Flesh-eating birds such as eagle and vulture have very sharp claws called talons. Talons are sharp claws of flesh-eating birds. Perching birds such as crow, sparrow, pigeon and parrot use their feet to hold on to tree branches and sit on them. This is called perching. Scratching birds such as hen have sharp claws to dig the ground. A peacock also digs out food using its toes. A parrot grips the tree branch with its feet. A hen uses its toes to scratch the mud to bring out small insects. Climbing birds such as woodpecker have two toes pointing in the upward direction and two toes in the downward direction. Water birds such as duck and goose have webbed feet that help them to swim in water. Wading birds have long legs with spread out toes that help them walk in water. How birds fly? Birds fly with the help of wings. Wings are joined to the body with strong muscles that help them to move. These muscles help the bird to move its wings. To fly Bird flap its wings both in the upward and downward direction. These strokes are called upstroke and downstroke respectively. Feathers. A bird's body and wings are covered with many feathers. There are three kinds of feathers. Body feather cover a bird's body. Down feathers are fluffy and soft. They keep the bird warm. Flight feathers are found mainly on the wings and are meant for flying. Did you know? A hummingbird can flap its wings 90 times in just one second. Nests of birds Birds build nests using leaves, straws, twigs, wool, cotton, and thread. Birds can take care of their nests in places safe from enemies and bad weather. We can see birds' nests on trees, on terraces of buildings, and sometimes even on the ceiling fans. Birds build their nests mostly to lay eggs in them. It is in the nests that their eggs hatch and the chicks stay, till they are old enough to fly. Birds keep their young ones safe and warm in the nest. Let us peep into the nests of some birds. The tailor bird uses its beak like a needle to sew leaves together to build a nest. It also uses materials such as thread and wool to sew the leaves.
the weaver bird uses its beak to weave pieces of leaves, grass or twigs to build a nest. The nest has an opening through which the bird enters. The woodpecker uses its beak to peck into tree trunks and make a hole for a nest. Penguins live in very cold places. Since it is difficult to find twigs, grass or straw in such places, penguins collect stones and pebbles to make their nest on the ground. Did you know? A cuckoo or quail does not make a nest. It lays its eggs in the crow's nest and lets the mother crow to look after the baby cuckoos.